Hi, this is Matt Bellis with Libertarian Christian Institute, and with me is Pete Parada with The Defiant. Thanks for being here, Pete. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. So you are somebody here at Rescue the Republic, and of course, I'm sure you agree with that, but really, what does that mean for you as a musician? I think it, for musicians especially, free speech is the most important thing right now. I think a lot of artists are self-censoring. Everybody's terrified about cancel culture and protecting their legacy, and it's, it's just been really detrimental to art overall, and music especially. People are afraid to really have a message in their music or say anything because it's, you know, one offhanded comment and you're just kind of kicked out of the club. So it's been really, the last couple of years have been really felt authoritarian throughout the industry. And it's harder and harder to stand up and kind of believe in anything and have any traction without, you know, it's it's really, really tough to break through with any kind of messaging like that. Yeah. So, so you're, you're pushing back against that whole culture of cancellation. Of cancellation. Uh, and is it a just an issue of peer pressure or is there some would you say authoritarian means behind it that that really concerns you yeah, i am concerned i mean it, it especially the rhetoric that's going around what john Kerry said yesterday about the first amendment being a real blockade to to what they want to get done and that there's going to have to be some sort of stamping out of social media and where people get their information from like that's that's terrifying stuff i mean that yeah. goes against everything this country was founded on and you know we're a month away from an election for that kind of talk to be going around is it's scary not just from an artistic standpoint but from the whole country for individual liberty you know all the free speech protects everything else if the first amendment goes everything crumbles underneath it so i, I feel like that's the most important thing for us to be protecting right now so what are you going to be doing at least now and into the next four years to really protect freedom of speech for everybody. I, I mean, as an individual, I, I, there's not much I can do myself, but if we all stand up and start pushing back, like we don't, we don't have to take this, we don't have to let the, any laws get passed that cram our free speech down. And I think the most important thing is that people stop self-censoring. Yeah. You know, I, I, on an individual level, that's the best we can do is speak your mind, you know, regardless of the consequences, because the more people that stand up, the more we're going to be able to stop this. But if everybody's afraid, if everybody's, you know, self-censoring, we're going to be stuck in the same place and we're going to get stamped out. Yeah, we really feel that. Well, thank you so much for stopping and chatting with us. Wish you all the best. Appreciate it. Thanks, dude.